Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. So today's reading is for the general collective of twin soul connections or divine soulmate connections. And I'm actually feeling guided to start with the feminines, actually. Usually I start with the masculines. I'm actually feeling guided to start with the feminines and I may or may not include the masculines in this video. I might actually do a separate one, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, we do have Lionsgate coming up as well, so I am holding that intention in mind. I feel like it's going to be um, very, very significant when it comes to manifesting because it's also coinciding with the new moon, which is also all about manifesting. So we have two separate things all about manifesting together. So definitely do take advantage of that. And we'll see what comes through in the reading to see how that might be affecting you or your divine counterpart. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the divine feminine and see what is going on with you or just any messages that want to come through for you. All right, keep in mind this is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you want, you can get a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see. All right, and we have door to personal healing and happiness and the temple path. Wow, okay, divine feminines, you are on the right track here, okay? I feel like you have made a decision to move forward in your life or to just take some steps and these steps are actually in alignment with your higher self and this is opening the door for you to find that healing space from within and also to find your own happiness. So whatever it is that you might be doing, because I feel like it's actually very, very um, significant. It's something very big. So it might even feel a little bit scary at times. Know that you are on the right path here, okay? So I'm just gonna put these up there. We're gonna get a couple more Oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. you're also um, beginning to be more dedicated to your ascension and to your spiritual growth as well. All right, so we also have, all right, purge, bound, and third party. All right, okay, so this is what you are purging or you've been purging, okay? You, I feel like, have been very successful when it comes to purging whatever is toxic for you, whatever it is that is unhealthy, especially when it comes to feeling bound to this connection in an unhealthy way. So any type of obsessive thoughts or obsessive energy, I feel like this is something you have been purging and for some of you this might still be going on. Um, with this third party showing up here, I feel like this might be a specific message. For some of you where there might be a third party involved, could be a person, obviously, um, that's definitely the case for a lot of my viewers, but it can also be anything else um, that is a barrier here. And I feel like even your own third parties, right, which could be um, overworking yourself or just anything, anything serving as a barrier for your own happiness, this is something you are purging as well. And then for others of you, of course, this will be purging a situation um, with your divine counterpart where there is a third party involved, all right, that is, has been toxic for you as well, not only for the masculine, but also for you, okay? So definitely some of you have already been doing this, and for some of you, I feel like this is beginning to happen right now, so it can feel a little bit intense. Again, know that this means that you are on the right path, and this is in alignment with your own self, all right? Really bringing up all of that bound um, codependent energy where there is a third party for some of you and releasing that from your system, from your organism. Okay, so yeah, let's get into a little bit of tarot here. For the feminines. So 
And we're just going to take a little general overview of what is happening with you right now. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so feminines, you are trying to find an inner balance. So I feel like you're still kind of being challenged when it comes to really finding your inner balance, but you are managing. I feel like, you know, this struggle that you have been going through, I mean, it's still there, all right? It's still there. You still feel like you are a part of this struggle, okay, that has been going on for you. However, with the Three of Swords being in reverse, this is you beginning to feel less pain, all right? And Four of Cups in reverse, you are beginning to feel less pain and removing yourself from a situation that was not making you happy from a situation where you either felt ignored um, or maybe you even felt like you were settling in some way, all right? Even if it was just energetically, if you were not um, interacting with your masculine, it could be that though you were settling for this situation just by, uh, by, by thinking about it so much. And I'm sorry about the noise, that is obviously Mannix wanting to play. Um, yeah, let's see what else and then we'll clarify a little bit. So we have Judgment in Reverse, the Five of Cups in Reverse, and the Eight of Swords in Reverse. All right, okay, so they're all in Reverse, which actually for the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords, that to me, uh, in this particular context, it's actually very, very positive. Um, I will be clarifying Judgment. I feel like this has to do with how you are feeling about your masculine, actually. So you... Again, with the Eight of Swords being in reverse, you are releasing that. You are getting yourself on track, right? Purging that attachment, purging the obsessiveness, or just even involving yourself in this situation. With the Five of Cups being in reverse, I'm even feeling like some of you, okay, this is going to be for a specific group of you. There are some of you who may have even felt a little bit... Um, guilty in the past and maybe that's what this judgment card is also about um you not being able to discern the situation clearly not not seeing the situation clearly and i feel like for some of you you still are not seeing it clearly but i don't think that that's actually a bad thing in this particular case i actually feel like you don't even need to it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because at this point in time, you're feeling like, you know what? There is no um, reviving this the way things are right now. That's how you're feeling. Like this cannot be revived at the moment. And that's okay for you to feel that way and to, and to think that way because it is actually helping you. Oh, okay, message coming through. Feeling that way is actually helping you to see other things more clearly because when you are so involved and so immersed in the connection and feeling like you want this and seeing clearly, you know, that this is your soulmate or that, you know, you belong together or all of that stuff or even seeing clearly that they are taking some steps forward, that gives you a sense of hope, which it does not mean it's false hope, but it does give you hope. And then what happens is you just start overthinking other things because that hope too much of that can make you obsessed and impatient and I feel like that is what is in the past right now so not being able to see certain things or some of those things about the masculine and believing that this cannot be revived that is helping you to see other things more clearly about your own self about just being able to see the situation um, from afar, from a distance, and therefore you are actually being more objective. So going back to this Five of Cups, um, again, I feel like this is a specific message for some of you that you may have felt guilty 
for certain things. And this was actually when you were not seeing things clearly. You were feeling guilty. Um, and even if it was at a very, like, at a very subtle level within you, there was a, a, an essence of guilt that maybe you did something wrong and that maybe the masculine, um, you know, took the path that they took because maybe you did something wrong. Again, this is not for all of you. I'm definitely feeling like this is for some of you, okay? Just a specific group of you. You were feeling guilty or the masculine was actually doing things to try to make you feel guilty. Again, sometimes intentional, maybe sometimes not intentionally, okay? It was more like um, an underlying motive, like a self-defense mechanism, trying to excuse themselves or trying to kind of keep you because they didn't want to lose you, whatever the case, um, you were made to feel guilty <clears throat> in one way or another. And I feel like this is also something that you are now releasing, realizing that no, you have nothing to feel guilty for. And not only that, releasing the past, not crying over this anymore, not feeling that pain. It's like, yeah, your heart is broken, but your heart is not bleeding anymore. So that, all of that is actually helping you to get unstuck from the attachment of this connection and moving forward. All right, now, of course, that does not mean that union will never happen. Um, if anything, that is going to help you because it's helping you to find your own balance. And like I said, it's still a challenge, but you're managing. So um, let's see what we want to clarify. I actually feel like, at least for that bottom row, it was pretty clear. Let me just clarify that top row. All right, so clarifying the Two of Pentacles, we have the Six of Cups. So yeah, it's a little bit challenging because of the past, because you feel the strength of this connection, because you, and there is still a connection. That is still there. That is never going to go away. But that doesn't mean that it can keep you from moving forward, releasing this, and finding your own door to personal healing and happiness, following your own temple path. Let's see what else. All right, so for the three of swords in reverse, we have the 10 of swords in reverse. And then for the four of cups in reverse, we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so wow, two tens in reverse. Yeah, you're, you're not feeling the pain of this. As I said, your heart is broken, but it's not bleeding anymore. You know that the hardest part of this is behind you. Now, definitely, again, it's, it's still there, you're still, you're processing this essence of an ending here, okay? You're still not 100% done with it. It might kind of feel like you are just because you're feeling so much better and because you're in alignment and you're moving forward and you are completely following your um, inner guidance and your intuition, it can feel like you are completely over this. And that's actually a good thing. It's just that the comparison of how you're feeling now with how you were feeling before is so big. Like that difference is huge. So it can make you feel like, well, in co compared to how I felt before, you know, I'm totally over this. Again, just for some of you. But the message here is that, no, you know, you're still processing it. And so if that begins to kind of um, peep up at you at times, know that it's okay. Um, so yeah, Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is all about you not having had this connection 100%. You want that Ten of Pentacles and you didn't have it. You didn't have it. I feel like you're feeling like, you know, this was a missed opportunity. Now this is something that just never came through. And like I said, you are not willing to settle for less than the freaking Ten of Pentacles in this connection. So I actually feel like that was a lot of messages that came through for the feminine. So I'm just going to um, get a couple of oracle cards to close this out. 
And I think I'm going to do a separate one for the masculines. I will post the link um, at the end of this video and in the description box. Alright, so let's see. Feminines. Final message. Okay, I'm just going to take the first one. And we have the waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, and I really feel like this is you building your way up. Building your way up to that ascension. Your energy is gaining momentum. You are moving forward. Keep going, basically. That is the, that is the message here. Keep going. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um... Please let me know if this resonated with you, if it did, and yeah, I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.